My name is Lynn Barnes, and I serve as the Experience Champaign-Urbana Foundation Board Chair. The mission of Experience Champaign-Urbana's foundation is really to gather funds from all sorts of sources, grants, personal contributions, contributions from businesses, in order to put us in a good position so that we can market our community and our surrounding area to people who want to hold events here. My name is Jeremy Thorpe uh, with BC Bank. There are a few different reasons why it's important for VC to contribute to large events here in Champaign, like the IHSA Boys uh, Basketball Tournament. Uh, one being that our support of the arts, uh, our recreation and sports for youth is very important to us as one of our pillars. In addition, we think it's just important to show folks what the community has to offer. And when visitors come, they spend money at our stores, they eat at our restaurants, they stay at our hotels, they mingle with us, and that's a blast. And that kind of thing really creates an atmosphere in our community of liveliness, of support, and of opportunity. My name is Isis Griffin. My name is Alvin Allison, and I represent CBPB Popcorn Shop, Sweet Brothers Barbecue Joint, and Tattoo 17. There are a lot of annual events that tend to happen in the city, and they continue to grow. So being able to have big orders is a big part of CBPB Popcorn Shop. We have employees that they know that, say if uh, the basketball is coming to town or if uh, there's a big event coming to town with a wrestling and things like that, we have people that automatically know, hey, make sure you remember me <laughs> and I'm ready to work when that comes. Experience Champaign-Urbana Foundation takes part in a lot of programs, but you know, it's so much more than that. You know, we have been very integrally involved with the African-American Heritage Trail. And you know, that's not an event, but it's a thing. I'm Janet Ellis Nelson. Champaign Rotary celebrated its 100th anniversary and Barbara Suggs Mason and Angela Rivers brought the African-American Heritage Trail possibility to some of our club leaders and we decided to get on board. And I think that it will just be so wonderful for people to realize these are my relatives, these are my ancestors. These people made a real stamp in our community and they should be celebrated. You know, what I wanna mention also is that we do some kind of unique things. We have a film office and the film office gets people to make movies right here in Champaign-Urbana. Now, you know, I might want to be an extra, so that's a great opportunity. The talent attraction efforts have impacted Busey directly because of our uh, ability to continue to bring in some of the best and brightest talents uh, that the area has to offer. We want to make sure that we have the opportunity to work with organizations such as Experience CU to attract folks to the area, tell them about the great things that are going on here, and bring it to the best and brightest folks. It's important that we bring events here to Champaign-Urbana. It's important that we have activities, not just for people who are coming to visit, but also for the people that live here. Those kinds of activities and those kinds of events make us all want to continue to be a part of this community. I think the staff at Experience Champaign-Urbana are the best cheerleaders ever for our community. I really love their Shambana welcome crew. They're welcoming people to the community, matching people to their interests, because that's what's going to make people want to stay here. And Experience Champaign-Urbana does a great job at showcasing the different businesses, restaurants, artists, all types of business here. That job growth, that business growth, means more people will want to live in Champaign-Urbana, which is the biggest goal of all. We've been a proud partner of the Experience Champaign-Urbana Foundation for over a decade. Uh, BUC started in Champaign here in the 1800s, so we've got a long-lasting uh, touch and footprint on this community, and we want to continue to build that. I feel like the money that we give explodes into our community. You know, they don't make a dollar off of anything that they do for anybody. So when you're donating to Experience Champagne and Banner, you're donating to yourself indirectly, not even realizing it, because it allows these places to stay open. It allows us to be able to do more. It allows them to be able to do so much more. A strong infrastructure really helps to support a strong tax base. And that tax base also helps to support those in need. I hope that you will join me in contributing to Experience Champaign-Urbana Foundation.